Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome to the presentation of the conceptual framework for financial reporting. And we are now in the last chapter, chapter 8, which is on concepts of capital and capital maintenance. Let us look what is offered in this chapter. Under this chapter, the framework explains the concept of capital the concept of capital maintenance and the de determination of profit, capital maintenance adjustment. Let's start with the concepts of capital. Most entities adopted, adopted a financial concept of capital in preparing their financial statements. However, the framework discussed two concepts but does not identify a preference for which of the two concepts. So I put here the financial concept of capital first because uh, this is the one that are being adopted by the um, reporting entity in the preparation of their financial statement. And under financial concept of capital such as invested money or invested purchasing power, capital is synonymous with the net asset or equity of the entity. The second concept is physical concept of capital. Under this concept, such as operating capability, that is the focus, capital is regarded as the productive capacity of the entity. How productive is the company or the reporting entity based on, for example, the productive capacity. For example, here is in terms of the units of output per day. The next one is the concept of capital maintenance and determination of profit. So under the first concept here was the concept of financial capital maintenance is being discussed here. The uh, financial capital maintenance concept focus on the profit and profit is only earned if the financial or the monetary amount of the net asset at the end of the period or at the end of a particular reporting period exceed the net asset at the beginning of the reporting period. So here only profit is said to uh, be earned if the net asset at the beginning is actually less than the net asset at the end of the year. Under the second concept, uh, the uh, physical capital maintenance, profit is only earned if the physical productive capacity, which is based on output, at the end of the period exceed the physical productive or the actual capacity at the beginning. So what you produce at the end of the period should be more than the one at the beginning. And the uh, concept now, the last one is the capital maintenance adjustment. And the capital maintenance adjustment, which is the last paragraph in the conceptual framework, the revaluation re or restatement of asset, revaluation, re for example, revaluation re of the uh, tangible asset like uh, property, plan, and equipment, and intangible asset, or restatement re of asset and liabilities. Um, uh, give rise to increases or decreases in equity. Restatement of asset can happen if there is any uh, uh, impairment that has taken place during the year and whereby the uh, carrying amount need to be reduced to uh, an amount which is less than the carrying amount. So that has to be restated in terms of the asset. And this will give rise to increases or decreases in equity. Basically, this is focusing more on the other comprehensive income. While these increases or decreases meet the definition of income and expenses, they are not included in the income statement or in the statement of profit or loss under certain concept of capital maintenance. It is actually outside the statement of profit or loss or the income statement and that is uh, being disclosed in the uh, other comprehensive income. Instead, these items are included in the equity. So the uh, movement of the equity will show the revaluation reserve balance and the revaluation reserve is part of the movement in the statement of changes in equity. And here is where capital maintenance adjustment or revaluation reserve is being uh, shown in terms of the presentation in the statement of changes in equity, which is the financial statement. 
That's it. That is the end of this chapter. It is a very short one, as I mentioned. Uh, these are the reference being used to prepare this slide and credits are given to slides go for the templates that I use for the presentation of this uh, pre uh, this particular conceptual framework for financial reporting. I will see you and I will see you. I will see you again in my other videos. Till then, um, Assalamualaikum and pleasant day ahead.